Let's create some more wooden trusses. We'll use the Linear Solid tool and select the profile in the model by clicking one of the rafters. Using the manipulator, we can easily shift this member so that it connects properly to the rafter and the beam. Remember, you can call the manipulator by holding down the left mouse button slightly longer when selecting an entity. We want this collar tie to be cut off diagonally, like we did on the other side. Instead of using slice, we can again use propagate linear. The base solids are the collar tie and the rafter. There are no detail objects in this case. We will also use Propagate Linear to copy these wooden members to the rest of our building. You could view these members as a connection between the beam resting on the ceiling slab and the rafter. Thus, our base solids are this beam and the rafter, whereas the detail objects are the members we just modeled. Propagate provides a suggestion for every location where a rafter meets this horizontal beam. Notice again the exclamation marks, indicating the interferences between the objects that will be copied and the already existing entities. We'll press Enter to accept this. The same technique can be used to copy this member connecting the two rafters. We will now create a ridge beam and again propagate this beam so it is placed between every two pairs of rafters. Finally, we will clean up the interferences. We want our rafters and wooden members to go through the insulation layer of the wall, so we will subtract these volumes from the wall. Now, we'll use Propagate again to copy the connection of these elements. Our base solids are the wall, the rafter, and the wooden beam. 
There are no detail objects in this case. Note that we still have to manually solve the interferences in this corner. This is because, for these two rafters, there are no horizontal wooden beams involved. Thus, Propagate did not identify this situation as a possible location to apply this detail.